Alrighty, I'm going to try this again. Second time making it, but that's okay. Last time I didn't have enough time on my SD card and I was talking away to a black screen and it cut off on me. But yeah. Um, so I'm just going to talk about my week 8 pregnancy vlog now. Um, which I haven't made one for <clears throat> the past two weeks or so because I've been feeling like absolute crap. Um, I've had that lovely morning sickness, or as I like the new term now, the nausea and vomiting of pregnancy. Um, it's lasting all day long, pretty much, all night. I've woken up a couple times out of my sleep, jumping over my boyfriend to get to the bathroom, because it's just coming up like, I hate it, I'll be in the middle of a great sleep, and all of a sudden it's just like, I gotta go, speaking of which, I gotta switch sides with him, most definitely, because... I'm not going to make it one of these times. <laughs> the poor guy's going to end up getting covered in my sickness. It's going to be bad. Um, I've been so tired. It's been ridiculous. Um, I feel like I ran a marathon every day. And the boobs are getting bigger and sore and it hurts so bad. Sometimes my boyfriend will forget and he'll like bang into me or just flick me just being a normal boyfriend or something silly. And uh, it hurts so bad. Um, what else is there? Oh, I've decided on having a home birth. And since it is my first pregnancy, a lot of people think that um, it's not going to go so well for me or I'll be like dying for pain medication or something like that. But. Um, I really think I can do it. I'd rather do it at home anyways because I live in Kingston, Ontario. And we do have a pretty good hospital here. It's KGH. Um, but they don't have, like, the pool or anything like that. I really would like to be in a pool. Um, and just the doctors there are screwed up. You'll end up having, like, 12 doctors in the room and stuff with you and... I don't know, it just really sucks. I'm not into having that many people. I would like a more intimate setting where it's just me and my boyfriend, a midwife. If my mother's there, then that's fine. Like, I'm just not into that. And especially med students, I haven't had the greatest experience with them before. So that is one thing I said right from the get-go. I don't want a med student delivering my baby. Um... I do believe that midwives are a lot more experienced even than a doctor who's worked in the field for 10 years or so because all they do is deliver babies. So, <laughs> it, like, well, not that's not all they do. They give a lot of other prenatal care and postnatal care as well. But um, I find them more supportive in the labor and delivery aspect of it all. So I really would like to have a midwife present. Um, but yeah, my wish is to, by the time the baby's nursery is done, I'll set up my pool in there, and I would like to give birth in my baby's room, um, so she can just have some time with mommy, and then be here with me and her dad, and, well, I call it a her, and he calls it a he, but we don't know yet, since I'm only eight weeks, but... I have a feeling it's a girl. I shouldn't say that, though, knock on wood, because it most likely will be a boy with my luck. <laughs> I don't really care as long as I have a healthy baby, honestly. I know that sounds corny. I always never got why people said that, but now I understand. As long as the baby's good, then I'm good. Um, but, yeah, week seven was crap, puke. A lot. A lot. Um, just not too much has changed other than being tired all the time. It really, really sucks. Um, any little movement I find makes me sick. Um, so I have to really, like, be careful and slow it down. I've had my first ultrasound. Speaking of which, I'm going to... See if I can grab that one second, guys. Okay. So, yeah. I went and 
got my ultrasound done. We got our first one done at six weeks, four days, and they could only see the gestational sac and the yolk sac. So me and my friend Mandy did a lot of praying, and by the following week I went. And we got to see our little one. Heart beating nice and strong. All right. Baby's first sonogram. Okay, so there's the baby right there. Little thing, just a little bean. Love it so much already. It's a beautiful little bean. really does amaze me how God has blessed me with that baby and already it's my life. It's everything I've ever wanted. I just feel so blessed and just so thankful that me and Dustin are going to be welcoming our little baby in November. But yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I'm sorry it took so long to get back to you on this. Um. I will be trying to keep up with my regular weekly vlogs now that I'm feeling a little bit better and I know how to keep it at bay. So I usually have one, two times through the day where I'm feeling all right long enough that I could make one of these up. So I shouldn't have no excuse. All right, you guys. Thanks. Bye.